What's going on guys, my name is Yellow S2K and I'm playing some MX Simulator and welcome to the next episode of my Road to Supercross series where I try to get better at Supercross and show you guys my progress as I go. We are at the Moto Estate SX, it's another fam MX track, um, and meaning it's kind of like a, a local cross style track, like a more forgiving Supercross track. But uh, it's a lot of fun and it's really taught me a lot about Supercross and I feel like I've improved a lot. So. Hopefully this gives you a better idea where I'm at at the moment. Um, I wanted to wait until there was actually like some visual improvement to show you guys and I think I finally have that. Um, the reason I picked this track in particular is because uh, DM is, uh, this is actually the round one of DM's fall Supercross series uh, and I'm going to be racing that whole series kind of preparing for RF AMA stuff. So that's where I'm at. Um, another thing is I'm on a 250F. I finally made the decision to ride the 250F for all my Supercross stuff as well as motocross. Um, basically for the same reasons as motocross. I really love the 250 and I think it teaches you a lot in this game. The 450 I realized it just wasn't teaching me much when I was riding it. I was just uh, kind of riding sloppily, tiptoeing and uh, using the power of that 450 to just get me out of mistakes. It just wasn't very pretty. so. Um, I finally made the decision to ride this 250 and I, I'm really glad. I'm, I'm actually really, really glad that I rode it because it's a lot of fun as well. Um, you're charging a lot harder into corners and things like that instead of just tiptoeing everywhere. It's just, uh, it's a good time. So um, anyway, I already have my qualifying time in for the race. I'm pretty happy about it and uh, I think I think it should be good. I've, I've been focusing mainly on consistency at the moment. I'll probably take some little risks here and there since I'm just making a video for fun. But um, yeah, it's all about trying to just ride consistently. Consistency. Consistently. Can't mess that word up, Jesus. But uh, yeah, I think a lot of people are pretty quick at this game, but there's a lot of crashes. A qualifying time is just a qualifying time. It's all about riding consistently. Um, and I think if I can do that, I could do decently. I'm not expecting much because there's a lot of fast people, even in AMs. But um, yeah, it's what it's all about is just getting better and uh, I'm actually having a lot of fun with Supercross at the moment. I like this line through there. Triple out. Kind of a quad out actually. But yeah, just getting better and uh, I think it finally shows so it's a lot of fun for me. Let's hit this quad. Whoa, little case. Charge. <laughs> but this track is a lot of fun for me. Um, it's a great mix of local cross, but also a little bit of, you know, difficulty with some rhythm sections, some whoops, things like that, that take a little bit of skill to get through. So it's just teaching me a lot, I feel like, more than a lot of other tracks. Kind of ruined the end of this lap, but we'll keep going here. I love this last rhythm here. That triple in the middle is so much fun. It's just poppy, I don't know, it's a good time. So 133.5, that's actually a pretty fast lap for me. I think that's actually faster than my qualifying lap at the moment, so maybe I should be in the uh, qualifying server, but whatever. May as well just show you guys, Oh, don't throw it away. Um, may as well just show you guys kind of where I'm at, and it's, I'm glad I'm able to put in a decent lap for you guys. Because um, sometimes when you make videos, it's like you ride at your worst. Um, but yeah, so pretty cool. But you can see this track is a lot of fun, it's very flowy. Uh, at times it's pretty quick. Um, I think the 450s have a little bit of an advantage at certain points on this track. Um, but the 250 is just a blast on it. So um, let's see if we can get this quad all the way over. Triple out again. Ooh, off track, but that's okay. Let's hit this quad again since uh, lap time is done. You gotta just not over jump this triple. Ugh. Man, casing it each time. I'm surprised I'm not going down with how big that thing is. Casing it, you'd think you just eat shit immediately. <laughs> so this is another line there. Kind of messed it up, but you can see. Jump all the way over the table and it sets you up for a pretty quick rhythm. That's definitely a faster way through there. But it's easy to get caught up trying to do that uh, table over um, going into that section. I need to hit a better uh, angle through there because that kind of screwed me up. Do a little double here, table on, off, not quite, not quite. I guess if you're going to crash anywhere, you may as well crash before the finish line, so at least we can get another lap in. Um, 
The crashes that suck are when you crash right after the finish line. That's always a bummer. Alrighty. On, off, double out. Sometimes I'm clipping first just for a little bit of stability, then I get into third for the whoops. Those got pretty sloppy. Third off, down into second. Hard on the gas, get the nice double. Jump over the table, double out. Sit down and throw a fun little whip over that section to line me up for the outside. Easy to fuck up that dragon's back. Kinda did there. So we'll just go on, ugh, off, single. Pretty ugly. Sometimes I find myself casing this through there as well. So it's like, sometimes the little stuff can make a pretty huge difference and that's the stuff that I'm trying to focus on. I'm not doing a great job of riding consistent in this video, but I think still you guys should be able to see the progress that I've made. I'm really enjoying even just whoops, little things I'm having a lot of fun with. There's that over, on, you can see how that over, if you catch a rear wheel like I did there, it kind of squirms you and it'll send you one direction or the other. Um, and that can really make it difficult. So like I said, in my normal laps, I'm actually not hitting that um, table over there. Now I'll show you this, I'll probably crash, but you can jump on. Um, and it sets you up for a pretty cool rhythm, but it's again, on the 250, it's difficult. 450, I had it down every lap. But, um, you know, that's I guess the price that you pay for riding a smaller bike sometimes. So, anyway, let's try to finish it off with a little bit of consistency. I guess we have t two laps left. Actually, this is the last lap. Kind of weird gearing through there, mess that up. Let's try to end it strong if we can. Again, third through here, down to second, get on it hard. I like hitting that in second because I can make sure that I clear it cleanly. Stood up that time. Uh, I went for the over, but shouldn't have. So there goes that lap time, but it is what it is. Um, Honestly, if I'm focusing and just riding solo, um, I can put in a good 10 laps without any mistakes, any crashes, if I'm really trying to do that. You know, if I'm just focusing on, okay, I gotta get around this track and not go down uh, as if I was racing. And I've finally gotten to the point on this track where I can do that pretty consistently. Um, and so that's really nice. I think that's a big step for me. Um, I think anybody can put in a hot lap, but trying to ride consistently and uh, as if you're like racing you know I think that's really where the difficulty stands with this game um, you could put in a thousand laps and get one really crazy heater but what does that really say it doesn't say much yeah you can put in a great lap time and some people are just so good at that but um, is that really indicative of like how fast you are in like a race trim so I don't know pretty interesting hopefully this shows you guys a little bit more where I'm at in the game I'm having a lot of fun with Supercross, especially on the 250. And uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Again, put some tips down below, stuff you see that I could do a little bit different. Um, always appreciate that. And uh, yeah, until next time, guys, I will talk to you later. Peace out.